In this tutorial video, we're looking at how to find the point or points of intersection between a line and a circle. So two scenarios can happen in this type of question. We can have a circle intersecting a line in two points, or we could have a circle intersecting a point at exactly one point, which is known as our tangent. So in this question, it's saying find the points of the, of the coordinates R and W, which means there are two so we're going to have to have a line intersecting a circle at two points. In order to start this question, we first of all take our equation of our line. So in this case, it's x plus 3y equals 20. We want to manipulate that in terms of x or y. So I'm going to go x is equal to all other variables. So I'm going to have it as 20 minus 3y. So I'm moving over to 3y and subtracting it. In other words, taking 3y from both sides. I then come back to my equation of the circle now, which is x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 8y equals 0. And what I'm going to do now is everywhere I have an x in my equation of the circle, I'm going to sub in my 20 minus 3y for that x. So first of all here, I have my x squared. So that's now going to be uh, 20 minus 3y. Don't forget it has to be squared, plus my y squared minus six times my x, which again is 20 minus 3y, minus 8y equals zero. So at the start here, I have 20 minus 3y to be squared. So that means something that's squared means it's multiplied by itself. So 20 minus 3y multiplied by 20 minus 3y, plus my y squared. I'm going to multiply in that six by the 20, which gives me minus 120. And then I'm multiplying in the minus six by the minus three y, which gives me a positive 18 y. And then don't forget my minus eight y at the back. Now coming to the first uh, two sets of brackets. So I'm opening up my bracket. So it's 20 times 20 minus three y. And then the second term multiplied by that second bracket. So I get to that in a second. I can actually start tidying up the right hand side here as well. I have an 18y and a minus 8y, which will give me a plus 10y. So I'm just going to put that in here now. So I have my plus y squared minus 120 plus 10y equal to zero. Okay, so coming back to the start, I have 20 times 20, which is going to give me 400. I have the 20 times the minus 3y which will give me minus 60y. Coming to the second bracket, I've minus 3y by 20, which again is giving me minus 60y. And then the minus 3y by the minus 3y, which will give me a positive 9y squared. And then don't forget to put back in your y squared minus 120 plus 10y equals to zero. I'm then going to start grouping terms now. So I have um, a 9y squared and a plus y squared, which is giving me a 10y squared. I have my minus 60 minus 60, which is giving me 120y. And then I have a plus 10y, which is giving me a negative 110y. Then I'm grouping my constants. I have a 400 and a minus 120, which is giving me a positive 280. I've got a quite a large quadratic here. So I'm going to divide across by 10 to make it a little easier. So that's giving me 1y squared minus 11y plus 28 equals to 0. I need to factorize my quadratic. So I could use my minus b formula or I'm just going to use the two brackets method here. So I'm looking for now two numbers that multiply to 28 and add to negative 11. So that's going to be a minus seven and a minus four because minus seven by minus four is a positive 28. And when I add minus seven and minus four, I get minus 11. So now I'm going to solve those. So I have y minus seven is equal to zero. So that means that y is equal to seven and I have y minus four is equal to zero. So therefore y is equal to four. So I found my two y's. I now need to get my corresponding x's. So again, remember what's happening here is we have a circle and we have a line cutting through that circle. We're looking for these two points here and here, 
and I've got the uh, y part of my point to be seven and four. So I now need to find my corresponding x's. So I'm coming back up here to the start. Remember we had uh, x as 20 minus 3y. So I'm going to take that. So I have x is equal to 20 minus 3y. And I'm going to do it out twice for both my values of y now. So 20 minus 3y. I'm going to sub in my two values for y, my 7 and my 4. So that means that I have x is equal to 20 minus 3 times my 7, which is giving me x is equal to 20 minus 21. So 20 minus 21 is negative 1. And on my second one, I have x is equal to 20 minus 3 times 4, which is going to be 20 minus 12 which is giving me x is equal to eight. So my two points, or and s, are minus one, seven, and eight, four. So if I just come back here to my sketch, if I fill them in on my picture, it's going to be minus one, seven, and eight, four. So there are my two points, or, or and w. So that's how to find the points of intersection between a line and a circle.